Hi and welcome back to Normski TV, another Transfer Daily and just going through all the news concerning Arsenal and uh, rumours who we've been linked with and uh, well, first of all I want to start off with um, Hector Bellerin again as we know um, clubs are sort of um, looking at being linked with him, PSG uh, being linked with a £27 million move for him uh, or that's what Arsenal are, are, are wanting um, but now it seems as if um, Barcelona have come into the fray as well. And, um, you know, um, it seems as if um, they want to get him. Um, you know, he's a Barcelona product. He, he left Barcelona when he was quite young from the academy and joined Arsenal. Could he be going back to Barcelona? Um, there's um, talk that uh, Barcelona have... Um, um, coming to the run-in of it. And um, the independent is saying, claiming that a 35 million move to either PSG or Barcelona could be sanctioned by the Gunners. Now, you know, this, um, you can look at it in two ways. It could be a big blow to, 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 to um, Arteta. But as you know what I'm going to say, 35 million is something that you just don't, turn down um, if it is true and if it is the case and Barcelona want him or there's going to be some sort of bidding war between them and PSG then mate let's go for it look I believe that um, you know Ainsley Maitland-Niles can do the job at right back you've got Cedric Suarez as backup um, yeah you know he has done well under Arteta since and after the lockdown and started to come back to his old self, but you know, in all honesty, you know, I, I think he, he's he's wanting um, a new challenge, um, and if stories are true that it's thirty five million, then listen, I, let's go for it um, because this will go a long way in terms of um, going to the party deal. We've got to get Thomas Party. We've only got less than seventy two hours before we kick off against Fulham. And we've only signed one player in the sense of what we spent, 22 million. We've got William on the free. We knew William, Sal um, William Saliba, you know, was on loan, has come back. Gabriel Mangalese, we bought for 22 million. That's about it. You know, um, we're there talking about Arsenal getting possibly top four or going to be doing much better. But I don't think we're going to, get top four, even top six, if we don't get the likes of Thomas Partey in. And to add to that, um, Usama War is another player that Arsenal need to get as well. You know, we are heavily linked with these two players. And for some reason, Arsenal haven't got the money. Um, even though we've got a billion near owner, we just haven't got the money to spend. And it means that we have to offload players. It's getting quite annoying. We've got to do it, guys. We've got to... Um, if it is the case, let's sanction the deal um, and get the move going for Thomas Party because what's going to happen is okay. You know, we as I said, we're less than seventy two hours away from playing Fulham. By the time the deal goes through, and you know Arsenal, when it comes to the announcement, you know, you know, I said we'd try and get him by the end of. Would like to get him by the end of the the, the transfer window. It could be all. November when we're seeing Thomas Party playing. Now, I don't know how we will be doing in the week. I'm hoping that, you know, with the players that we've got, that we can hopefully sustain some sort of the winning mentality, winning the games. We have got some very tough games. Man United away, Man City away, Liverpool away. You know, these are games that we're going to be playing in October. And, guys, we cannot go into the season with the players that we've currently got at the moment. We can't be going in there with Granite Shaka and Torreira or El Nene. They ain't going to cut it. We need Thomas Partey. 100% need him. So, Barcelona uh, have now come into the fray and um, I'm assuming that Arsenal will probably, they will probably be in some sort of talks with Arsenal concerning um, Bellerin. And I'm hoping that something gets moving that we will start hearing a bit more noise um, concerning this. If it's true, 
then mate, I'm taking the 35 million. 30 million, I even take that. Um, and it's just something that we just have to just live with. I know, you know, Arteta wants to keep him, but if we're going for our targets that we've been looking at from God knows how long, we should have got these guys already. We should have got these guys already. And uh, to be honest, um, it's not good enough. It's good. It's not good enough that um, we're here still talking, getting tired of talking about Thomas Party all the time. It's getting quite boring now. It's getting absolutely boring now. We need to get this thing done and get it done quickly. Um, also, um, let's talk about um, Lacazette. Um, you know, I spoke about him again, I think briefly yesterday, um, concerning whether he's going to stay or, or not. You know, there's a lot of speculation around him. Juventus, Atletico Madrid, you know, some of the teams that are interested in. Even Leon, the guy, um, the owner came out and said, like, you know, January gone, you know, they actually contacted him because I think he, at the time he was going for a really bad time and injury and everything. And, you know, it was about, why don't you just come to us on loan, see how you get on. And if you like it, you may want to stay. Come back, start go, sco scoring goals for us. But um, he said he wanted to stay at Arsenal. Now, we are in a situation where we do need to offload some players and, and assets. And, you know, Arsenal, um, uh, there are clubs that are interested in him. But Arsenal said if they are going to sell him, you know, again, from ESPN, uh, they're saying 40 million. This is the, the price that they're putting on, um, on Lacazette's head. If you want him, you're going to have to pay 40 million. Now, guys, would you... If an offer came in for 40 million, would you guys accept it and take it? Please, guys, put it in the comments. Let me know. Would you take it? Um, can we afford to lose someone like Lacazette, who's, you know, done well, you know, in the last few tech games towards the end of the season? Needs to find his form again. Great friends with um, Aubameyang. Can he find his form again? Would you be um, confident enough to sell him can um, Eddie step in and, 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 and fill his boots? Enketia is doing quite well in terms of the international. He's scored, you know, in his last two games, four goals, you know. So he's doing quite well. But listen, that's one of internationals. When we're talking about consistency through the season, we need someone that's going to be consistent. Now, that's what Arsenal are, are, are reportedly saying, that um, if teams want him, then we're looking at £40 million. Pounds. That's dots on his head tell me what you think guys is it something that you would like to see happen or would you want to keep him and see how he fares come the new season so that's it on Lacazette um we was linked with um the PS well let's say PSG goal yeah the PSG goalkeeper um Alfonso Arella um you know they, they were PSG were offering to him uh, to us as a an, on a loan deal because obviously with the situation with Martinez, um, you know they were saying that you could take him on a loan, but it looks like now he does he won't be coming to us. Uh, apparently he's had a medical at Fulham, and it looks like you know there's some announcement that's going to be quite imminent um, with regards to him signing for Fulham. So now we've missed out on him. Um, Brentford don't want to lose their goalkeeper. What's the situation? With regards to Emilia Martinez, um, I'm hearing rumours that, um, you know, he's um, turned down a, a, a deal um, from Arsenal. Um, and it seems like Aston Villa are well placed to get this player. Um, they have put in a bid close to 20 million. Arsenal have not said anything on it with regards to it. You know, are they going to keep him alongside Leno? What's going to happen come Saturday? You know, I'm looking to see whether he's going to start the game or not. If he starts the game, then I know the likelihood is that Arsenal are going to keep him. What that means for Leonard, I don't know. It just means that they do are going to have to fight it out. But as it stands, it seems as if um, I'm hit, I'm reading that um, uh, that he's um, basically um, turned down a contract from Arsenal, um, and we'll just have to see where um, Aston Villa come into this in terms of you know if they put in a big enough offer will Arsenal accept that you know that we're talking about the 20 million pound mark again I'm going to say it again it's funds that can go for our targets but we're going to still need to get a backup keeper and at the moment right now you've got um Aurela now going to Fulham 
We can't get the, the Brentford goalkeeper. So I don't know where this leaves us at the moment. You know what I mean? We're, it's going to leave us short, but we've got to get something sorted out and sorted out quick. So that's it on um, on um, Emilia Martinez. Um, just want to find um, this other news here. And uh, this is to do with um, going back to Usamawara. And, you know, we're hearing it, you know, Arsenal, the, the Arsenal love him. Uh, Ma, um, uh, what's his name? Loves him. Arteta loves him. <sighs> but they said they weren't cash only, mate. You know, they're not taking £31 million plus Gwendozi. They don't want that. They want cash. Can we afford to do this? Again, it is all about... I sound like a scratch record, guys, but this is what it's all about. We have to quickly and fast sell our players because if we don't, you know, we're going to a season more or less with two new signings. Two new signings. All right, um, William Saliba has come back. So three signings, yeah? That's not going to be enough if we want to challenge for the top four. We have to go for someone like an Usumawara who I, I would say can get goals for us because at the moment, a lot of the um, the uh, responsibilities on, on, on Aubameyang, you know, he's done well for us in terms of the, the amount of goals he's scored for us. But we need more goals from our midfield. I'm reading a stat that uh, between Granit Xhaka, Matthew Granduzzi, Lucas Torreira, Danny Sabalas, Mesut Ozil, Joe Willett, Provided just four goals between them in the Premier League all campaign. That's not good enough. That is just not good enough. Ramsey, 11 season Arsenal, the Welshman equaled all or scored more than Natalia on his own on five occasions. We've got to get this sorted out because if a Bamiam gets injured or one of our front players get injured, we're going to be stuffed. So, you know, Arsenal, if you're serious about this, yeah. Let's go and get this um, Usumawara. You know, you, you're saying you love him. You're putting it out there publicly. But I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen no movement. What's going on? What's happening? Guys, we've got to, we've got to stop playing games now. You know, you're playing with the fans and it's, it's just getting boring now. It's getting absolutely boring. We've got to do something and do it quick. On some kind of good news, just to end, you know... Um, you know, Aubameyang, there's a likelihood that they're going to be announcing their Aubameyang deal. It's very close, £250,000. Apparently, it could be announced on the eve of um, the um, Fulham game. And yes, that's fantastic and that's brilliant. And, you know, you know, the fans will be happy in that. But let's not let this mask our transfer dealings or if we happen to lose the game, that, oh, you know, at least Aubameyang is signed. Now, yes, he's a brilliant, prolific player. Fantastic captain, our talisman, but it's just not enough just to announce just his deal. We need to get in our targets. We've been linked with him for months and we're still not doing anything. Every day we go on, we, we see the same thing. Thomas Party, you know, we're linked with him. But are we showing any kind of movement in terms of wanting to go for him? You know what I mean? We are, I'm in an r and for... Um, uh, uh, what sort of prices, aggling over prices and that. Listen, we're living in a pandemic. You're not going to get the full um, works in terms of the prices for the player. So, guys, take what you... Listen, I know, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, you're not going to get back the money that you pay for these guys. But if you're serious about going for Thomas Party and Usamawa, then you're going to have to pull your fingers out. I said it yesterday in my transfer daily, that you've got to pull your fingers out if you want to get the likes of these players. Come on, Arsenal, man. Let's stop messing about. Get out there. Get the players off the books. Thomas um, Torreira, um, uh, uh, um, not, what's it, not, not Granit Xhaka, um, Kolasinac, you know, um, uh, I, I'm not trying to think, I'm up. Chambers, you know, um, Socrates. We've got to start moving quick on these. We've got to. Gwendozi. You know what I mean? Is he going to go? Or is he going to stay? Who knows? Who knows? But listen, guys, listen. Please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next Transfer Daily. Take care.